Well, I'll, I'll say this, Shannon, on, on, you know, on behalf of the media, just because, uh, you know, and I, I'm a critic of the media like everybody is and like everybody should be. Um, but my accurate criticism of the media is that uh, there are uh, definitely good people who work there. Um, there's also not nice people who work there, just like, you know, at many other uh, places. Um, but everybody uh, is essentially doing their jobs. And so, you know, when people say, why doesn't the media tell the truth or why don't those journalists do it? Or why didn't the cops disobey orders at the at the G20 uh, and so on? Um, I, I don't think any of us, you know, or who who say that, or most of us who say that, uh, wouldn't necessarily risk our jobs, you know, to make uh, you know similar decisions or decisions where we work. And so um, there's a couple of things with respect to the media. If you do something, um, if you build it, they will come. And so you know, um, whenever you know uh, groups like group Vancouver 911 Truth. Um, whenever Toronto Truth Seekers, um, you know, whenever before them Toronto 9-11 Truth, um, whenever groups, you know, like this who are normally not covered by the media and who the media goes out of their way to avoid actually do something and, and get out in the streets, you know, hand out flyers and DVDs, then CBC's The National comes and covers this, you know, last uh, last year in September of 2009 to just basically do a piece on why people were opposed to the H1N1 vaccine. Um, and, and, and before then, um, city TV did a piece on, on Toronto 11 truth outside of their buildings where they, they basically interviewed us and, 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 you know, put us on. And, and there's many, many, many examples of, of the media, you know, uh, covering us when we do something. And so my argument is there's a, a fatalistic way to look at it, which is when will they change? But after you see them doing what they do for a while, you kind of, you know, there's, there's a limit to where that can take you. And so what can we do to change them? Or what can we do to work around them? Um, and, and, you know, personally, I've had good experience with the media recently for the campaign. Um, CP24 interviewed me on video. It took a long time to put up the, um, the transcript, still haven't put up the video. Um, but again, I think uh, people in there will try and do the best job they can. And then at the editorial level, closer to management, a lot of the, uh, the information that isn't supposed to get out to a lot of people um, will be suppressed. But, um, but, but we just got to keep pushing. And, um, and we just got to make sure that we don't rely on them for information when we live in the 21st century with incredible, modern, fast ways of communication. So people can pass on my website, what you want to believe in dot com. People can download my flyers and, uh, and, and, and drop them off in their neighbor's mailboxes or, or hand them out at work, print them off and, and get them cut. Um, you know, people can, uh, can call me. Six four seven eight five seven five seven five five, and um, they can ask me questions. I can I can meet with them in, in groups. Um, I've had kind of um, I, I've had to kind of work on on nuancing. You know what I was going to say during the G twenty. I took a very very aggressive you know stance on this issue uh, to try and get people's attention quick because I, I do perceive the city is in some danger um, as we head into twenty twelve. Not for superstitious reasons, just just because. Uh, that's when I think the UN sort of um, will will emerge more as a a world governance body, um, and the regional trading blocks created by you know trading agreements like NAFTA, the SPP, and the European Union, and so on, will be you know merged politically and economically, and that'll that'll cause a lot of chaos and and be the result of a lot of chaos. So I, I took a fairly aggressive stance, um, you know, during the G20 uh, as an individual getting out there. Um, and I had my stuff ripped down by the city workers. I was followed by I, cops and helicopters, not in a threatening way, but I do know that my words are, are, are wise because from 3 to 8 p.m., I'm, I'm putting up posters on, up from Young and College to Young and Davenport, east and west of Young, and I'm being followed. And then I walk back down south from, you know, at 8 p.m., and I find they've all been ripped down. And I'm like, wow, okay. And, and again, it was nothing personal, but it shows that the state doesn't want things like fluoride alert to get out there vran.org and so on the information we have shannon in a nutshell on your show and others is information that both the public can use and like and that um that threatens the existing power structure in ways that we can use to influence it all right um i just yeah we're gonna have to wrap up um i just wanted to sort of i like the idea of the the internet a uh, one hour of um, you know participation by by people. This is you know a fundamental basis of democracy, and um, it's something sadly lacking in uh, in what we call democracy. So yeah, thank you for just mentioning that idea, and uh, it would be worth a vote for VJ Sharma to possibly get the the real democracy going in the city. 
There's a lot of smart people in this city, Shannon. We're smart and uh, yeah. and we're nice. And so if we have the opportunity, then uh, I think we'll make the right choices. Definitely, definitely. Uh, again, thank you for coming down, BJ. Maybe we can get you back before the uh, the big day. And uh, again, thank you for coming. I got to throw on a track because we got to get some some shifting going on here. But thanks again. Thanks so much. Uh, the American dream. Yes. I have a dream that one day yes. this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yes. I was sitting in my office daydreaming in the skies I was startled back to life by a broken woman's cries It was 7th of the 7th to double zero five The day terror came home under London's grey skies The carnage that I saw was like a dagger through the chest So many different lies broken and bodies laid to rest I knew I had to fight back and for once I had a cause They needed punishment for bringing war to our shores Now I'm signed up and I'm living in the desert staying psyched up Because these little bastards clever using roadside bombs instead of Fighting like men, fighting terror with terror Till this terror shit ends Three lines on my side, writing heart full of cry Can't shed no tears, though I watch my friends die I know he fired first, but my soul's still on trial Even though he had a gun, can't forget he's just a child But no mercy for these pockets, every one of them can die Shed the blood of my boys, now revenge is in my eyes Call it vengeance with a gun, ain't stopping till I'm done Baby, terror is a war that can never be won it was sending their sons and their brothers and their husbands to fight and die in extraordinarily high proportion. Playing in my school, but it ain't the same now. It all changed from the moment that them bombs came down. That's when I signed up, because these people said they needed me. First time in my life, someone should believe in me. They greeted me with open arms, slugs, and a rifle. Now I walk the line between death and survival. Hired as a killer by someone I've never met. He promised me prosperity, a life without regret. Now my whole family's dead with no one left to call a friend. My body is a weapon now. Driven by revenge Holding out my hand But nobody's there to help me Reciting the Quran, But my peers They tell me God is on my side So paradise awaits Distorted information How to reach some pearly gates A man on a mission With nothing left to lose They wanna leave my country Now it's battered and bruised So I strap up I only wish to sweat my fate With my finger on the button Screaming that my God is great I hold my last breath Taking everybody with me Dead at 16 Please Lord Forgive me Left hearts aching with guilt and minds distorted with irrationality. And the press generally won't tell us these things. What's the price of war? Like bloody all pause, what's the point of freedom? If your life ain't really yours, give away your basic rights, cause you're paranoid and scared. There's a man in a suit saying terrors everywhere. Be a-